Hey everyone, it's Walker at Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to In The Cut where we kind of just watch the laser do its thing and today we're doing another tumbler. These are very popular, popular, popular and a lot of people like to do them. We've had a lot of questions on how to do them. So we're just going to run off another job on our Pro 24x16 on the chuck rotary. Now the chuck rotary is going to actually hold it with some clamps or the chuck and hold it in place and it's very nice for metal pieces like this and our other one is coated just like this with the uh, powder coat and we're going to remove the powder coat with our CO2 laser 90 watts at 100 power 50 speed and we have a design we can bring up the design right here it is by Megan uh, and Megan has a Instagram, Meg's Designs, that's Meg's with two S's, and she is a graphic designer in St. George, and we're going to do two of her things on this cup. And what I want everybody to remember when doing a cylindrical object is, especially with the chuck rotary, you need to get the diameter. Measure that diameter, you're going to have to put it into the software once you select and enable the rotary. So without further ado, let's get started. Like I said earlier guys, you want to get the dimensions, your diameter of the cylindrical object that you're using, but also you want to keep in mind when designing, taking that diameter and turning it into a circumference for making a bounding box where the design's going to live. And that, I put two designs on this cup and I just gave them equal space apart from each other so one's going to be on the front and one's going to be on the back. So at, looking at this uh, cup, you can see at the bottom there's some circles there. And that's where I actually did some testing because I've never done the actual pink uh, cup before. So I wanted to see if it's going to react differently because I didn't want to actually ruin the engraving. So I did those test circles on the bottom. And once we're done, I'm going to do an engraving of just removing all of that bottom piece. So it's just metal and then the pink.
So with this file, we're actually doing it at 500 DPI. Now that's twice as fast, uh, twice as slow as we need to. We could do 250 DPI, and that's going to speed that up. That's going to make this about two minutes and 50 seconds. But we want that 500 DPI because it does that extra little pass in there is going to remove just that little bit of, of paint that kind of sticks on there when it gets vaporized and comes back. So there's a little powder there that we remove with that 500 DPI sweep. And there we have it. I'm a pretty ha happy camper about this one. Um, so we'll send this to Megan, yeah? And uh, we'll see how she likes it. And if you guys have any more questions about using your rotary, purchasing a rotary, what rotaries work with your machine, please contact us via Facebook, Instagram, or just call your salesman. And watch us on what is it? Inside the Laser Lab tomorrow with Nick and Scott. And until next time, keep making. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like those videos, please subscribe. We got more videos in me over here. <laughs> <laughs>